first time I did mushrooms was with a Q-tip, right? So Q-tip was in LA and I was staying in LA. I think I was doing my first album, I guess, maybe. So he was out there. I called him, I guess. I was like, what's happening? He's like, yo, I'm over here, you know, I'm doing some mushrooms. I'm like, well, what, what, what's that? How you do that? And I think he said he was making some tea. He's like, you want food with it? I guess he said, I was like, okay, cool. So I hooked up with him. He gave me some mushroom tea. I don't even hella remember what the hell, we must have been just chopping it up, whatever. Somehow we ended up going to Fishbone Studio, right? I guess one of the dudes in Fishbone is who we got the mushrooms from, right? So we went over there. First thing I see when I walk through their door is they got the Jane Kennedy uh, porno tape. Not porno tape, but you know what I'm saying? The sex tape. You know, remember that scandal that happened around then? How these fools have this tape that's like on the news? Like they just all sitting in the front watching it. Like it's like a movie or something. So I'm just tripping off that, right? So I guess they was doing boning in the boneyard with the, with the Jungle Brothers. So I think maybe that's why Q-Tip was there, maybe. Like maybe it was with the Jungle Brothers. So I forgot what happened. We was there for a minute. Somehow we end up at the Beastie Boys studio, right? They playing like the wildest, funkiest stuff I ever heard in my life. I'm like, damn, these white boys got all this. Like, I'm really tripping like, damn, okay. It gave me a new level of respect for the Beastie Boys. Like, okay, I don't know none of these records. You know what I'm saying? They got a room full of records. They just playing slap after slap after slap. And I'm high off shrooms, right? Q-Tip is like in the corner. He making a beat on the SB1200. When somebody passed me a blunt, it was over after that. I was start, start getting hella paranoid. Went downstairs, went to the bathroom, got annoyed down in the bathroom, thought I saw a monster in the bathroom, right? <laughs> so I'm like coming back up the stairs, Mike D come down the steps. He like, dude, you all right? And I'm like, man, like I took some shrooms tonight, man. I just admitted to him, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm hella high. I thought I saw a monster in the bathroom, whatever. He like, man, you, you just need something to eat, man. You just need to put something in your stomach. So he said, come on, let's go. So he walked me to like 7-Eleven or something, right? Bought me like a box of some Fruit Loops, some milk, you know what I'm saying? Walked me back to the studio. He's like, yeah, just eat some of this, you'll be cool. You know what I'm saying? That was hella crazy to me. I don't even remember nothing else after that. That's when I just felt the Beastie Boys. I always felt the Beastie Boys, you know what I'm saying? But after that, then Mike D helped me out, didn't even really know me really. But like, he walked me to the store, got me some Fruit Loops, something to eat, you know what I'm saying? He could have been like, okay, dang, what am I supposed to do? So that just, that just stuck in my mind about the Beastie boys and they had a raw studio but all this is on some psychedelic other world because i'm on mushrooms 